Um, huge day here uh, um, uh, on campus for us. We got 15 uh, former players that uh, will be working out here in just a, a few minutes uh, for pro day. Excited to see those guys, you know, go through this part of, uh, of the NFL experience. Guys that uh, have helped us, uh, you know, turn this program around and, and uh, been a huge part of winning a lot of football games. Uh, also great uh, this morning we were uh, able to get into to Neyland and, and uh, you know, go scrimmage for the first time here. You know, we're six days in and uh, great to see the competition, plays made on both sides of the football and, and uh, as much as anything thought uh, played extremely hard uh, from snap to whistle. So a bunch that we'll, uh, we'll learn from here as we continue to, to push after Easter break uh, on the back end of, uh, of spring ball. So open it up. When you go into a, a first scrimmage like this, what are you looking for? What, what, what's I know playing hard, but beyond playing hard, yeah. what's important for you today? To it does start, it does start with playing hard. Um, you know, at this point in spring ball, you want your vets to, to act like vets and and uh, play sound football, play penalty free, but uh, go out and execute. You got a lot of young guys inside your program that are getting their first taste of of, uh, of what it means to, to go play live football. So by any stretch of the imagination, not going to be perfect. Um, but you want to see guys that are going to go make plays. And uh, that's offense, it's defense. Uh, we did a lot of good on good in, in special teams um, and uh, primarily in punt and, and punt return. Um, you want to see guys that uh, are putting themselves in a position here that uh, you can start gaining trust in who they are as a player. And, and um, you know, when something doesn't go right too, I think it's, it's important that we see guys that are going to respond the right way. And, and uh, so a lot of good, uh, a lot of things that we're going to have to learn from today off the, uh, the video when they come back in tomorrow. Speaking of that young group, what stood out most with that group today? Yeah, I don't know if there was uh, any just, you know, one guy, um, you know, Mike made a big play down the sideline today. Um, and, uh, you know, I thought he competed hard throughout the course of the day. I thought some of our young DBs showed up just tackling in space um, as we go through spring ball. You know, those fundamentals are extremely important. But, uh, you know, Boo Carter did a great job making plays in space. And, and uh, um, you know, some of those guys are, are consistently showing up uh, day to day as, as they go through this experience and grow. Sticking with the younger guys, you said last week that you really want to feel a sense of urgency with them on the field, and that can kind of be difficult with them coming in so new. What have you seen urgency-wise from them uh, on both sides of the field? Yeah, just their their competitive spirit when they've been out on the practice field. Um, you know, those young guys don't take a uh, back seat to anybody. Um, you know, individual drills are up in the front of the line. Um, they're constantly pushing to get reps. They've been great inside of the meeting room. Uh, in the early part of spring ball, um, you know, they expect themselves to, to do the right things and, and uh, be mature, uh, be a, a, a vet almost as far as their understanding of the game. And, and uh, those guys continue to compete in a really good way, offense, defense, and special teams. Can you talk about the tight end position from a standpoint of like you got a couple of newcomers with Holden yeah. and, and Miles Kitzelman? How are they adjusting to the offense? And, and Kitzelman seems like a guy who you know kind of arrived a little later than the rest, and maybe you know maybe flies under the radar a little bit more. What do you like about him? Yeah, you know Miles wasn't here for for bowl preparation, um, but uh, uh, you know th those guys inside of our program, the guys that just got got here. Um, you know, Miles and Holden, but Ethan Davis, a young player, um, all of those guys made plays out there today, but they've been really consistent, you know, in the first five practices too. I thought the new guys operated within our offense extremely well for their first time out on the field. Just, you know, there's a certain way you got to play from snap to, what, to, to the echo of the whistle, but then, you know, how we function and operate and communicate offensively, you know, from the whistle, getting themselves lined up, getting in position, being efficient with their movement. Uh, I thought they did a really good job here for the first time. What's the status of Cam Seldon and uh, with his injury? Do you do you look at least consider looking into the portal uh, for for depth at running back? Yeah, um, uh, with Cam, unfortunate, just early part of spring ball. Um, you know, had an injury to his shoulder, had surgery on it. Um, we'll kind of evaluate. You know, where we're at is. The rehab process gets started and, and um, you know, base our decisions uh, off of that and kind of where we project uh, where he's going to be. Great. 
where was Nico's operation today? How comfortable were you with him operating? What did you like that he did? Where would you like to see him go from one scrimmage to the next scrimmage? Yeah, he's been really good just in practices lead up to it, you know, being intentional, having conversations, making sure he's getting on the same page with the skill guys, but also with uh, the offensive line growing and bringing energy to that group before driving during the course of it. I thought today just the way he functioned and operated, uh, controlled, you know, the huddle controlled. We went into a four-minute situation at the end, uh, understanding the play clock, game clock, all of that. Just functioned and operated uh, extremely maturely today. Going back to pro day, uh, what's the most exciting part about seeing guys that you've coached go through this process? Yeah, uh, ultimately at the end of it, it's them getting to a franchise and, and you know, putting the helmet and shoulder pads on and, and getting a chance to go compete for the – you know, for a job and, and um, you know, it's the next part of their journey. Um, just, you know, the maturity that our guys have had, you know, and some of the feedback that we've gotten from NFL personnel that's at postseason bowl games, how they've, you know, handled the, the combine process. Um, you know, really excited for, for those guys. Uh, show some of the maturity and, and some of the things that uh, our coaches are teaching those guys on a consistent basis while they're here in our, in our program. Um, excited for today just because they get an opportunity for those that, you know, didn't go to the combine to, to put their next uh, foot forward and, uh, and put themselves in a position to, to go where they want to go. And, and uh, you know, so today uh, they're going to have an opportunity to showcase their athletic traits that, uh, you know, guys have already seen, NFL personnel has already seen on the film. So excited to see him go compete today. Josh, when you're dealing with injuries in spring, it's opportunities for other guys going at running back with Cam being out. What have you seen from <coughs> Khalifa and Deshaun, and how big is the opportunity for them the rest of spring? What did you see from them today? Yeah, uh, D. Sam's been awesome. Just energy, leadership, maturity, um, understanding of our offense. Um, you know, the young guys uh, continue to take steps forward. Um, you know, Khalif has done a really nice job. Um, you know, he's been extremely physical, uh, was, was today as well. I thought he, uh, you know, finished going forward all the time. And, and um, you know, Desan Bishop, young guy that got nicked up last year, just, you know, his growth inside of our program, uh, for him to get back out on the field and showcase his, his skill set, handled the rehab process extremely well, and, and uh, love the competition that he's brought. And Wilk and Barnes have been, uh, done a really nice job. Mentioned in your opening statement, you really liked what you saw from the young DBs. Who stood out to you today? Yeah, I already mentioned Boo. Uh, I thought he made plays. John Slaughter did a great job uh, today uh, defending uh, a deep ball down the sidelines. Um, you know, just ball me man relationship and, and playing a 50 50 ball. Um, you know, did a nice job on, on some of the tackles. Excited to go watch uh, the scrimmage here. But Idris Farouk is, is a young guy that's consistently shown up here in the early part of spring ball, too. Guys, enjoy uh, Pro Day, all right?